Hello! How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Come on in. Join the madness. If you are one of my subscribers that's been around for a while with these unboxings, it's so nice to be back here doing this. Doing this. In summary, life has swallowed me up over the last four months. I won't get into it now. I may film a separate video on that, just kind of like where I've been, what I've been doing, a little bit of a life update because I'm planning on filming so many more videos, but I thought it would only be fair to start with this. Guys, how on earth has it been 12 months since we sat down and did this? If you were around for last year, you already know it's going to be door by door, 1 to 25, and we're going to see what's behind every single one. So go and grab a snack, get cosy, get Christmassy, maybe, I don't know, a bit weird. Yeah, if you don't want any spoilers, then probably don't watch, but if you want any sneaky spoilers and you want to know all the details of what's inside, then keep watching. Oh, oh, oh I should also say, if you're not subscribed already, tap the button, you know? You know how it is by now, you know how it is. I'm gonna prop it up on my knee and I'm gonna show you what happens when we open her up. Oh my God, I'm actually so excited. And I don't have a single clue, like not one thing is. So I'm very excited to find out, just like you guys, what's inside. This is gonna be fun. If you want to know what was inside the last year's one for any reason i have got a video so i'll link it down below but also just google it and you'll be able to see uh, but the theme was beauty in wonderland for last year so it's bigger than last year's but a bit thinner a bit of a different layout oh my god i feel like i need to pop it up hang on yeah. there we go we'll pop it there lovely little diy zoom you in a bit we're all good i think we are you can see this is so beautiful it's red it's kind of giving me like 1920s like very retro old glamour vibes oh my god it's all red so are we ready to get into it i'm just going to give you a little bit of background so let's get on get on the old website shall we it's always a nice little surprise when you see your face on there isn't it oh bane um okay advent be a good place to start i reckon so on the look fantastic website it is 79 pounds if you have a subscription already for look fantastic beauty boxes i believe you get 20 percent off it which is a very good so you can pre-order it now and the launch date is the first of october so really good should we get started start with number one let's do it let's do it okay oh my god this is a heavy one so this is what the little box is like it's a heavy one Ooh, and then it's wrapped like this. So little paper. Oh my god, what is this? This is a HD Brows. I can see Look Fantastic is kind of stamped on it, so I'm guessing this is a little Look Fantastic exclusive. Contour and Colour Pro Palette. Ooh. No. So there's six pans in here, and really quite a weighty size. Feels quite luxurious with like a soft matte touch this is really nice if you're a bit afraid of contouring and starting out this is great but also would be a good addition to your makeup kit as well and it's got a really good size mirror as well but just feels good like the quality of the mirror is nice as well doesn't make your face go all like fun housey you know it like bends and goes funny but yeah love that and it feels absolutely gorgeous and luxurious so that is number one so this is number two so this is the Filorga Anti-Age Makeup Remover Physiological Cleanser. Don't quite know what that means, but I'm guessing it's going to take your makeup off, which is all we want. I've used a few Filorga products before. I know that they're featured quite heavily in the Little Fantastic Beauty boxes. Doesn't smell of anything. You know I like a little sniff test. This is 50ml, really good for travelling and good just to kind of like sling in your bag, just in case you ever get caught out and you need to take your makeup off. Um, so yeah, good for face and eyes, can be really gentle, and for longer of other good brands. Three, where are you, number three? I don't know if this is annoying, like, on here. People say they're really hard to get out. I'm trying to, like, claw my little finger in there and be like, come out. Number three, what are you, hun? What are you, hun? Percy and Reed hair. Wonder Balm, perfectly perfecting. Wonder Balm, I don't know what that is. Um, Miracle Leave-In Balm, mm -hmm. 
preps and primes your hair in readiness for all styling products and techniques. Apply to tail dried hair, working from the roots to the end, prep the hair for styling. Ooh, okay. So really good, it's saying for frizzy hair to kind of tame it down. I've never tried this. I've tried a few perfume read things. I reckon that they probably come in beauty boxes. Um, I've never bought any of them kind of like for the brand. But yes, that is a Percy and a Reed 30ml of their Wonder Balm. Where are you? 444. Ooh, this is a light one. <gasps> yes! Oh, dropped it. Guys, it's from Glam Glow. Uh, this is the Glam Glow uh, Gravity Mud Firming Treatment, which I haven't tried and I've really, really wanted to try. So Glam Glow, as you may or may not know, are kind of like an LA Hollywood based brand, I think. Uh, but they've been, like, they've been around for a while and they just like specialise in the best masks and especially stuff that's going to make you glow, pull everything out. Um, they're really good and they come with quite a heavy price tag, really. So this is really good. I think you'll probably get about two or three applications out of there i've had a few of this kind of like deluxe sample size with the what's the other one called like the clearing treatment the silver one is well i don't know if i love this product yet but i love glam glow and i love the size of it um, and i yeah can't wait to use this so that is the glam glow gravity mud that's a mouthful firming treatment and that was indoor four five honey where are you oh you're up here Oh, this one feels like a pencil of some sort. Ooh. This is a brow definer. Sounds like a bit of my cup of tea. I love a brow definer with a really precise edge. Um, what colour is it? It doesn't actually say on it. Oh, sorry, it does. Indian chocolates. Ooh. Really nice and really nice colour as well. It's basically BBB on the packet. So if you don't know about them, um, they are a brow bar that's been around in London, especially central London for as long as I can remember, especially back in the day living in London. They were always in like Selfridges or maybe even Topshop at one point. They're kind of like the specialist, uh, the chain specialist of doing brows. So yeah, I think if anyone's gonna bring a brow product out, especially in the UK, who's gonna be like the ones to do it, I would say that Blink Brow Bar are the ones to do it. Really tongue twister of a word to say though. Huh. There she is. Oh god, we got some look, we got some some paper and some scrunchiness in this one, guys. Right, it's a oh I reckon it's a fragile one, that's why. The tiny little thing. Ooh. So this is the Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil. It's a tiny little sample, but Anything Emma Hardy, I'm like, yep, yeah, hun, love it, want it, need it, everything, love it. It smells incredible. Just smells like essential oils. Number seven, babes. Get in my life. Number seven. Quite a light little one. Oh my god, I love this. I actually love this. This one is the Ico Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. Um, a little sample size, 2ml. This mascara is one of my faves. And I don't know whether this was in a beauty box or whether it was in last year's calendar. I can't remember. Um, but I've used this and I love it. It's got a really cool little wand. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of curls up. Um, let me hold it straight there so you can see and it's really good to kind of get right in the root so yeah really like that mascara right number eight babes oh there she is oh would it be would it be a look fantastic advent calendar without a molten brown shower gel this is jasmine and sunrise that's the smell oh god it's everywhere oh my god that smells like Oh my god, and it's so full, it's like spilling, mate. It smells like Chanel, Coco, Mademoiselle. In a shower gel, I swear. If any of you have tried this, molten brown. I don't want to tip it because it will go everywhere. Jasmine and sun rose. <gasps> Bath and shower gel it is all falling apart. If you tried this shower gel, please tell me what you think. It smells to me like uh, Chanel, Mademoiselle, Coco, Mademoiselle. So nice, not complaining about that at all. And it's a beautiful kind of like rose gold, like really chic. So yeah, that's really nice. And I love, I love a shower and a bath. If you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, I'll pop it on the screen. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that. So that will be going, appearing in a Bethany's bath time 
Abarth near you. So that was number eight, Molten Brown Shower Gems. Number nine, we're at, we are at number nine. Number nine, so face. So this is the Regenerate Advanced Toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> um, let's have a read. So this is like an enamel protecting toothpaste, which is obviously very good. Um, reverse early erosion process. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. That's the Regenerate uh, Enamel Science Advanced Toothpaste. Oh, we're all going to be smelling good. Have good skin. Our teeth are going to be clean. <laughs> what a time. What a time to be alive. Okay, number 10. He's just in the corner up here. What is this? Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> Favourite one so far, I think. I think. Okay, so this, in really nice packaging, uh, is the... Omra Visca Budapest More Cream Cleanser. So there's a few things that I want to say. I didn't even know this was a thing, the More Cream Cleanser, which makes me think, is it an exclusive to look fantastic? Correct me if I'm wrong, babes, if it's already a thing. But look at the packaging. It's like white with this kind of red um, foil effect, and then it's got a little bit of like a preview of the product just down here, which n none of the packaging for the Omra Visca stuff that I've seen has had that. Bloody love it. So yeah, that is the Omrovitska More Cream Cleanser at door number 10. 11, babes, we need 11. This one feels heavy. This is a body cream, Rituals. The Ritual of Secura um, Magic Touch Body Cream. <laughs> organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom is the scent. So Organic Rice Milk, Cherry Blossom. Uh, 70 ml. Let's have a little sniff. You know I love to smell things. Get it on here. Hey, hon. Hello. Oh my God, that is so nice. It reminds me of like babies, real clean babies, holiday, and like a really fancy perfume. <laughs> Just imagine those three things together, which are three like nice smelling things, aren't they? Love that, love that. And I love that it's called Magic Touch Body Cream. Like, ooh. <laughs> Sexy. So yeah, seems good guys, seems good. It's one with fancy writing, look. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, so we've, we've got something from Grow Gorgeous, which is one of the hair companies. Um, thickening Hair and Sculpt Mask, intense. I've had a few of the Grow Gorgeous things before, but I don't think I've ever tried this. Got a little cap on it, but what do we do, Hans? We're gonna sniff it, because that is who we are. Ooh. One thing I will say is all of the Grow Gorgeous stuff smells incredible. Like, the only way I can describe it is, you know when you walk into, like, everyone's got one of those friends and you walk into their house and their house smells phenomenal? This is what it's like. Someone's, like, lovely smelling house in a bottle. My friend Jodie. Love you, babe. Her house smells phenomenal all the time. She prides herself on it. This smells like that. Love it. I don't know what they put in it, but it's bloody great. So yeah, this is wanting us to apply after washing hair um, with shampoo um, and, and conditioner. Oh, okay. Then generously coat the hair and scalp, massage in and leave for 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly. Interesting. So it's wanting us to wash our hair with shampoo and conditioner. And then afterwards, you're going to put this little like top coat on, I guess, and then rinse it off. Oh, I'll be trying that. I love anything hair. You know me, Hans. Love anything hair. Anything's gonna help. Let's see. Ooh. Balance Me Gradual Tanning Drops for face and the body. The size of it, I'd probably already recommend not doing your body unless you're tiny. How to apply. So you can add these to moisturizers. So one to three drops, depending on how tanned that you want to be, I guess. Um, and then just obviously wash your hands thoroughly. Love that. It'll be really interesting to see how they work, basically. Um, okay, so that was 13. Unlucky for some, but not here, eh? Um, 14, let's have a little look. It's a lipstick. Lipstick Queen lipstick in frog prints. Oh my God. Is this the green one that goes pink? I think it is. Yes, yes, love that. 
You see how it's just turning on my hand over here? That's what it's like when it goes on. Slight kind of greenish tint. Then it goes a bit black and grey and then it goes this gorgeous pink. So yeah, that is Frog Prince lipstick from Lipstick Queen. 15. Ooh. It's like a palette kind of form again. Ooh. So this is Sleek Eye Divine a new day palette actually already have this sleek shadows are really so good um, and really good if you're a beginner or kind of not sure on what to do um, and where to put shadows and stuff like that so yeah this is the sleek eye divine a new day palette so if you've had a sleek palette before you'll be familiar with the setup comes with a really big mirror up here and then it's got the shades or down here it does come with one of these which i literally hate with a passion they're like these with the little sponge on uh, but yeah some really beautiful shades really good neutrals to warm up the eyes as well for autumn and winter christmas um so yeah that is the sleek makeup i define mineral based eyeshadow palette uh 15 what comes after 15 beth 16 okay oh this is one that's a little bit lonely in there it's a pencil of some sort okay oh this brand i just never know how to pronounce it do say ducky do sa d-o-u-c-c-e I never know. They've had one of these in the, I think it was the previous advent calendar. So this is a graphic liquid liner. I'm very fussy when it comes to liquid liner, but already I like the point. You can see it, I like the point of this. Oh, it feels nice. The real test will be how it's standing at the end of this video on my hand. But yeah, really nice and black, very like opaque and thick, which I like. 17. There you are, babes. Can't wait to try and put this all back in here. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna put it all back in? Ooh, so this is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Serum uh, Complexion Correcting. I've used this before, really like it. Um, so you just apply it like a serum in the morning or in the evening before your moisturizer. So clean, clean, clean face, uh, toner, acids, whatever you're using. Um, and then pop this on over the top and then your moisturiser afterwards. Just helps to absorb the moisturiser better and make it work a bit harder as well. And that is 10ml. So that is the Cordley Vino Perfect uh, Serum. wonder how long this video is going to be. If you're still watching and you're still with me and we're still together, I want you to write a Christmas emoji in the comments. Just because it'll be funny. Um, and we'll see how many are still are still in together. Um, ooh, love this. So this is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It was in the last um, last year's advent calendar because um, I remember it just being an incredible product for everything. And I didn't actually know that you could use it everywhere until I read up on it. So you can use this from head to toe, elbows, legs, face, anywhere literally anywhere from head to toe 56 grams 56.7 grams how precise so it would be amazing to carry around all winter you can just keep this at the bottom of your bag not heavy and just pop it on those areas that need a bit of attention lovely jubbly 19 we need you we need you to come on down Okay, so this is Esper, which is um, a kind of spa brand. Um, they do a lot of like really beautiful skincare and body care stuff, I would say in equal doses. So this is Esper Skincare, um, an intensely hydrating overnight treatment mask to leave the group, to leave the complexion replenished and radiant. So mask for your face, it's called Overnight Hydration Therapy. This is giving me like winter vibes though. It smells like berries and like cinnamon, and, like, orange scents esper overnight hydration therapy smells incredible will it be incredible no one will know until we tried it but it smells great and esper products are pretty good so i've got high hopes um right 20 oh my god we're nearly at 25 are you excited i'm well excited Actually, 25 is like always a good one i remember exactly what it was last year i won't spoil it <gasps> I love this and I've not actually tried this but I love this. 
sure I'll tell you what I'm all about. Uh, this is a stress check roll on uh, by This Works. This Works do the whole of obviously the sleep, deep sleep range, and I love it. But these little roller balls are becoming very popular. I know Neon do them as well, um, and they're kind of just to roll onto those stressful points throughout the day. And that smell is to kind of bring you back down and kind of calm you. So if you have a bit of a bad day or you work or you just naturally are quite an anxious person, this might be good to use. But I'd always use it just for sleep. But I really like that when you're kind of checking the time on your phone, you get these whiffs of this quite calming, lavendery scent. So yeah, roll on to Pulse Points, enjoy the scent and unwind. That sounds heavenly. Okay, 21. 21. Oh my god, this is massive. Bloody yeah, oh my god, it's a it's a duo. So in this big box is ooh, mane and tail shampoo and conditioner. So this is mane and tail shampoo and conditioner. This was in a beauty box from I don't know, last year, I think. And I'll be really honest, I haven't tried it yet, just because I'm very fussy with what my hair likes. I'm gonna have to try, and I get told all the time how amazing they are. So I think I need to stop being a silly billy and try it. So that's the main and tail. Let's get on to 22. Okay, oh, this is like a long little one that's packed in there. Oh, a brush, little look fantastic brush. Okay, so we have a little fan brush, really good for highlighting, and then this other end. So I reckon this is going to be for kind of concealer and highlighting, or it could be for contouring. Oh, maybe it's a contour and a highlight brush. Uh, but yeah, I quite like this to be under the eye though. I love that because it's got that point. It's got a really nice angle to it, so you could get right up in there for the concealer and powder, pack it on, and a bit of a highlight. Yeah. Look fantastic brush. We're going to call it the highlight and contour brush though. Uh, so that was number 22. 23, where are you? Another little fragile one I reckon, babe. Aromatherapy Associates De-Stress Muscle Bath and Shower Oil. I think there was one of these. Oh my god, that smells so nice. That is actually lush. Pure, straight up lavender that is. That just smells like straight up lavender to me. Oh yeah. Oh god, the cap's gone. Imagine if I threw it all everywhere. Add two caps, two capfuls. Couldn't get my word out. Add two capfuls to your bath or smooth it over your body before showering. Shower before showering. How nice would that be? Smooth it over your body so that when you shower, it kind of releases it. I guess. Hey, that is a nice idea. Love a bath. Um, so yeah, that is the Aromatherapy Associates De-Stress Muscle Bath and Shower Oil. Very cute. Oh my god, we've got two left with. We're at Christmas Eve already. Right, should we go for it? Should we hit it hard now? Home run, 24. Little slim one. What are these? Uh, no Laszlo, which is money already. I'm like, I'm not, I know that's expensive. Eye masks? Oh my god, they're eye masks. Yeah, oh my god. Multitask eye serum mask. So my question is, is there an eye mask in each, do you think? Or do we think we're getting two runs out of this, guys? Like, is it one go, another go? So this is promising itself to be a silky all-in-one hydrogel eye patch formulated with a powerhouse of ingredients to tackle visible signs of uh, anti-aging, of aging, just aging in general, babes, and dark circles, or, you know, you know what it all goes like, puffiness, all of that. So that was Christmas Eve. What's going to be in number 25? Okay, so we're going to crack into 25 and see what is in there. So it's quite a big box, but just little inside, which you know, you know now, the drill doesn't mean everything. Oh my god. This is an Ilamasca baked highlight. So they're beyond powder is what they call it in the shade Dighty. I think that's how you say it, Dighty. Imagine I'm like, I love it, but I don't know how to say it. This is such a beautiful highlighter, which I don't own. I've got one of their other Beyond powders. Um, so that's just what Illamasqua call their highlights, Beyond powders, that's what they call them. I've got their other one in OMG and it's beautiful. But this Dighty one, wait till you see it, babes. Wait till you see it. This is a bit of me. 
if you're getting your makeup done with me anytime soon, I'm probably going to use it on you because it's bloody lovely. First of all, how gorgeous do the highlighters look anyway? This is the packaging. So this is a full sized and might I add, would usually be about £35. But this is the most beautiful iridescent, but not tacky iridescent. You know, you get some iridescents, they're like purple, unicorn-y, just so beautiful, almost green looking. So I'm going to try and get my torch on it so you can... It doesn't even do it justice. We're going to have to do a little bit of a swatch. But it's just stunning. It's so ethereal and gorgeous. So I'm just going to take... Oh my god, it's so pretty. Nothing does it justice. But it's so gorgeous. I'm just going to powder it away. Oh, it's so nice. My camera keeps dying, I'm so sorry. But yeah, these are like £34 um, on their own, I think. Um, and just so beautiful. So yeah, love that. Oh my god, love it. So, should we do a little bit of a rundown? Does it compare to last year's? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not even just copying out. I feel like it's about the same as. There is a good mix of skin, hair makeup all of that there's a good mix of that there's a lot of stuff that you can use they haven't filled it out with things like makeup bags and stuff like that um, which some people love i know that they love but some people are just like don't need it would have rather a product so i think they've done that really well um until number 25 i thought oh i was on the fence a bit and thought okay how are we feeling about it all but Honestly, this Christmas Day prize really swung me just because this is a beautiful highlighter and such a nice luxury item to have. My highlights, I think, have to be the skincare. Some really good skincare. The More Cleanser. Even though it's little, but really want to try this. That's the Emma Hardy Brilliance Oil. We've got the glam glow mask they are a lot of kind of smaller sample size things you will get that in every single beauty box what i'm going to try and do is just get loads of different advent calendars well as many as i can get my hands on and afford of course um but yeah just get loads of different advent calendars and just go through them all go through them all with you guys here on my channel similar to what i tried to do last year and just go through it but obviously this is the first one of the year so at the moment it's my favorite but stay tuned and come back here if you want to just see more unboxings like this so please get involved in the comments i will be there now checking comments replying let's have a chat what was your favorite thing what were you disappointed with what did you want more less of yeah let's have a chat about it and tell me what ones i need to review do that because i love reviewing things but yeah it's been so lovely just to sit down and chat to you guys i will catch you in my next video have a lovely week day night wherever you are whatever you're doing um just have a good one and i'll speak to you soon